I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish with Love, and this is your 30-minute kettlebell hit workout. Nothing gets me more excited to work out than a new pair of training shoes, which is why I'm excited today's workout is in partnership with Schuler Shoes and New Balance. Schuler Shoes shoe experts literally fitted me with the 880 New Balance training shoes, and I am loving them because they allow me to go from short runs to training in the studio seamlessly, all while wearing the same shoe which is why I'm wearing the New Balance 880s for today's kettlebell workout. Get ready to sweat with me, grab a kettlebell, heavy if you have it, otherwise you can always sub one medium or heavy dumbbell. We are gonna sweat in second intervals. It's gonna be 40 second intervals and 20 second intervals. We're gonna mix them around, but it's gonna be strength and power. Today is gonna test your endurance. So grab your kettlebell, lace up your sneakers, and let's get started. All right, let's jump into our warm up. We are gonna start, take a big inhale, reach up nice and tall, squeeze the belly, squeeze the glutes nice, give me that baby back bend, open up the chest, shoulders. Nice, reach it up nice and tall, take those feet a little bit wider. Hands go to the inner thighs, we're gonna do some body rolls. So arch your back, drop the belly, drop the head, roll it back up. This feels good, right? Just drop it down, push those knees out away from the body, drop the belly, and then roll it back up. One more spinal roll, that just feels good to do. And then from here, just take a nice forward fold. Hands go to the ground. Shake out those hammies, back of the legs. That's what we're gonna work with this kettlebell, all right? Right hand down, left arm to the sky, roll out the wrist. Switch it out, other side, roll out the wrist. Nice, from here you're gonna walk it back up. We're gonna go into hinge swing. So you're gonna pretend you have that kettlebell. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. My hands are clasped, it's like I have that kettlebell in my hands. Hinge, swing. Hinge, swing. So the reason we're doing this is I want you guys to get the feel of a kettlebell swing before we jump into this workout. So, common errors with this swing. Looks like this, people squat. Nope, we're not squatting. Hips and glutes, right here. Hinge, swing. So there's a soft bend in my knees, squeeze the butt, stand up. Other error, right here, overarching. Nope, you don't wanna get into that low back. Think, if I had a string on the top of my head, it would go to the wall in front of me, straight up. Out, up, out, straight up. So that's what I want you to think about when you're swinging, okay? You're gonna take two more for me right here. Now that you get the hang of it, you're a pro. I'm gonna step to the back of my mat. I'm gonna hinge all the way over and I'm gonna walk out to a high plank. Nice little walk out. Hold that plank, walk it back in. Stand up tall, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the hammies. So kettlebell, this is a total body 30 minute kettlebell workout, but we are targeting our power generating muscles. That means our hips, our glutes, our hammies. Nice, one more walk out and then you're gonna hold that high plank for me. Hup, walk it out, hold that high plank right here. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Step one foot outside the hand, doesn't matter which one, we're gonna do both sides. Hold right here, windmill that arm up to the sky, open up the hips, take your elbow, can you tap the elbow to the shoe, range of motion. If you're not there yet, that's okay. Open it up, take it to the knee, whatever feels good for you. Open it up, tap that shoe, nice work. One more, we gotta open up those hips, yes? Nice, from here, step back, find that high plank, Hold it here, you're gonna give me two push-ups, knees or toes, add that chest in. Nice work, right here, we'll walk it back in. Stand up tall, one more walk out, and we're gonna get that other side, other side, other side, other foot outside the hand, open it up, and you're gonna go elbow to the shoe if you can, elbow to the knee, you choose your range of motion. Today's workout is all about you. You're gonna do what feels good for you, okay? If you don't have a heavy kettlebell, you grab a dumbbell. You use the resources you have, you do your best, you forget the rest. Last one right here. Replant those hands. Take it down, dog, for me, just because it feels good. Pedal it out. Press the chest towards the thighs. Push back. Find that high plank. We're going to go slow burpees, OK? So it looks like this. Step right foot in. Step left foot in. Stand up. Take it down. Right foot back. Left foot back. Repeat it. Repeat it. Let's go. This is how we open up those hips. Back, back. Step in, in, up. One more, one more. You got it. Yes, you can. Step it in. In, stand up tall, back to center, just squat it out. Down and up, right here. Squats, name of the game, right? Drive those knees out away from the body. You know I love my squats. Squat, squat, squat. They're good for everything, nice work. Right here you got four, nice. Three, and two, and one. You're gonna go a little bit wider. We're gonna hit those inner thighs. Just tap down side to side, tap it down and down. All right, we're gonna start to push that heart rate up a little bit here. Towards the end of our warm up, come on, push it. You got four, yes, three, step it in, two, and one, step it in, jack it up. Hup, hup, just jack it right here. Low impact, you can tap it, you can tap it. Working just as hard right here. Jack it or tap it. You got eight, seven, 
six, high knees in four, three, two, high knees, high knees. Get them up, get them up, get them up, get them up. Let's go. Low impact, you drive, drive, drive. High impact, you run it, you run it. Add those arms, push it, push it. Come on, four, three butt kicks, two, one, finish. Butt kicks, heels to the glutes, to the glutes, to the glutes right here. Add those jacks, jack, jack. Come on, finish, four, three, two, one. You warm? I know I am. Grab a sip of water. We're gonna jump into this workout. Four circuits, okay? Four circuits, six moves per circuit. Yeah, six moves, wow, right? We're gonna test strength and power. First time through, 40 seconds on the strength exercise, 20 seconds on the power exercise. Second time through, we flip it. 20 seconds strength, 40 seconds power. It is gonna test your endurance and your cardiovascular, often in a low impact way. There's some high impact or low impact, you do you. Grab that kettlebell. I'm gonna show you the first move. It's really four moves because the last two are just repeated on the other side. Show you your first four moves because we're gonna go boom, boom, boom. No breaks for six exercises. So your first move, take that kettlebell, dumbbell, whatever you got. Set it between your legs. It's a set down pickup squat. It looks like this. Pick it up, set it down. Pick it up, set it down. You alternate, pick up with set down. Okay, that's move one. Move two, we go right into a squat clean, a clean squat press. Looks like this, it's a hinge. I'm not squatting, I'm hinging. I find my belt, I grab it, I squat, I press. It's a fluid movement. I'm gonna show you from the side, right here. Hinge, tap the floor, hand slides down the horns of the bell, up, okay? Tap, slide, push. That's move two. It's big, full body movement. Move number three, good old lunge and curl. Find a nice staggered lunge right here. Lunge, bicep curl. Whoo, that 25 pounds. Man, that feels heavy. That's two, three, staggered swing. 80, 20, right here, hinge, swing. So it's like a kettlebell swing, but you're focusing on one leg. Those are your four moves. You're actually gonna do six because we'll do the other leg for the last two moves. Are you ready? I hope so. 40 seconds, we are gonna crank it out. Starting on those set down pickups. Set down, pick up. Are you ready? Because you're on, set down, pick up. In three, two, let's go. 40 seconds right here. Pick it up, set it down, pick it up, set it down. This was my favorite move when I was pregnant. I was like, oh, I can do one, one hard one. Give me that body weight, okay? Great way to start the workout. Get those hips open. Chest stays lifted. Don't let that kettlebell pull you forward. From here, remember, we go two hands on the bell. That hinge pick up for the clean, and then your hands slide down the bell for the squat with a press. You got it, come on, 10 seconds here, 10 seconds, and then we go 20 seconds into that power move. You're there in three, two, let's go. Two hands on the bell. Pick it up, front squat, push it. Tap the ground, pick it up, push it. Tap, slide, push. Come on, 10 seconds, that 20 seconds goes fast. You gotta get as many reps as you can. In 20 seconds, you got four, three, two, one. Right foot forward, left foot back, bell in that left hand. Lunge, curl, Woo. lunge, curl. 40 seconds, up, down, up. You can put that other arm out for counterbalance. Hello, heart rate, Woo. there it is. Yeah, feel the fire? Do you feel it? I do. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see my lunge. Keep going, come on. You got 20 seconds here. Up, 40 seconds. Let the heart rate come down. From here, it is that staggered swing. So I'm gonna keep that right foot forward, left foot back. You're swinging in four, three, two, 80%, 20%, swing it, hinge, swing. So it's a kettlebell swing. But my staggered stance puts emphasis on that right front leg, that right front glute and hamstring. It's gotta work, it's gotta work. Come on, it's gotta work for five, four, three, two, one. Lunge and curl other way, left foot forward, bell in that right hand. Lunge, curl, 40 seconds, come on. Let the heart rate come down. Woo, find that balance. This bell is heavy for me on that bicep curl. This might be a time 
So I was at home, I had multiple options. I'd grab a lighter dumbbell, staggered swing. Staggered swing, it's coming for you. Are you ready? You're there in five, four, three, two. Staggered swing, left foot forward, right foot back. Here we go, hinge, swing. I'm gonna show you from the front this time. Come on. Make that left glute work. Make it work. You get a break. You get a break, but you gotta earn it, right? 10 seconds, what can you do? Show me, squeeze that butt. Stand straight up, don't arch that back. You got three, two, one. Set that kettlebell down. Woo! Grab some water. That is circuit one. Do it again. All right, savor that break. We flip it, okay? 20 seconds on strength, 40 seconds on power. It's gonna burn, it's gonna get your heart rate up. That's the goal, it's low impact. You're not jumping, but you are working hard, right? That 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Set down, pick up squats for 20 seconds. You're there. In three, two, let's do it, come on. Set down, pick up right here. 20 seconds on the strength, and then big kahunas, yeah. 40 seconds on that squat front press. Clean squat front press. Come on, you got 40 seconds. I wanna see what you're made of. You're there in five, four, three, two, let's go, hinge. Grab it, front squat, press. Come on, 40 seconds right here. You were made to do hard things, okay? You know what I say? Doing physically hard things like this right here makes the mentally and emotionally stuff that I face throughout the day so much easier to handle. I got two young kids. They throw some curveballs at me throughout the day, right? <laughs> but this, this makes it a little bit easier. If I can get it out right here, I can do the hard stuff. So can you for five, four, three, two, one. Right foot forward, left foot back, lunges. Lunge and curl, 20 seconds. Do anything for 20 seconds. Yeah, staggered swings. That's where we go. 40 seconds of staggered swings. And five, four, three, two. Find that staggered swing, 80 in that front right foot. 20, left toe. Come on, that right glute. It's gotta work. That kettlebell, that dumbbell, it should feel heavy. 40 seconds of power. Come on, show me what you're made of. Woo, get that bell right up to eye level. My legs do the work. My hips, my glutes, my arms, they just move the bell. They just move it. Come on, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, lunges other side. Yes, you can, five, four, finish. Three, two, one. Switch it out. Left foot forward, right foot back, let's go. Lunge and curl. What makes this workout hard? No breaks for six moves. No breaks. Come on. Endurance. Woo. Let's see it. One more set of sacred swings. Four, three, two. Come on, I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see it. I got 80 in that front left foot, 20 in that back right toe. Swing it. Yes, you are strong. You know what's good? What's good is you get a break after this. That's what's good. But you gotta earn it. You gotta earn that break. You gotta get that heart rate high. Come on, push it with me. Yes, you can. If I said 10 seconds, what could you do? What could you do? Come on, finish, don't quit. Final five, four, three, two, one. Set that bell down. Whoo, circuit one. Awesome job, you guys, grab some water. Hello, legs on fire. Do you feel it? Whew, I do. Water, water, water. Circuit two, back to 40 seconds on strength, 20 seconds on power. Let me show you your four moves while you catch your breath. All right, squat row, walk up, push up. Start at the back of your mat. Give me a squat and upright row. Set the belt down, walk out. Give me a push up, knees or toes, all the way down, up, walk back in. Squat, upright row, walk out, push up. Okay, 40 seconds. And then, 
you set that good old bell off to the side. Two push-ups, two burpees. I don't have to show you what that is. You know what that is. Two push-ups, two burpees. Follow along with that one. Boom number three, single arm row. You can be staggered right here. Or you're like, I got that. You go to balance. You choose. These are your moves right here. And then, and then you have a wide narrow, okay? So the weight's gonna stay right here. Other leg's gonna move. You go wide, you go narrow swing, wide swing. Bell stays in that same hand, okay? Those are your moves. You got six of them because we're gonna do the other side for the last two moves. You ready? You buying in? It's gonna be tough. Let's start at the back of our mat. Squat upright row, walk out to push up. 40 seconds. Squat upright row, walk out to push up. 40 seconds. Starts in three, two, let's do it. Squat, pull it high, set it down, walk out, find that push up, all the way down, all the way up, walk it back in. Find that bell. Upright row, set it down, walk it out. Find that push up option, take that push up from your knees. Pop back up to the toes, walk it in. Squat, row, right here, walk it out. Knees or toes, down, hook, walk it in. Yes, yes, yes. Right here, come on, just stay with it. The beauty about this workout, it is timed intervals. So you get your personal best. You do as many reps as you can in 40 seconds. Come on, you got five, four, three, two, one. Walk it back in, set that bell off to the side. Two push-ups, two burpees, one, two. Come on, two burpees, up. Woo! Up, two push-ups. Here we go. It's 20 seconds. You can do anything for 20 seconds. Reality is, you're only getting a couple reps because you got five, four, three, two. Find that bell. Single arm row. Starting bell in my left hand. Right foot forward. Here we go. Single arm row. Right here. Row. You have the option. Go to that balance. I'm newly postpartum. My balance isn't great. So in order to use a heavy kettlebell, that challenges my back. I gotta keep that back foot on the ground. Woo! Let's do it. Come on. Big breath. It's 40 seconds. Yes, you can. You can do anything. Come on. It's five, four, three, two. Keeping this foot. Kettlebell stays right here in this hand. Narrow, wide. Narrow, wide. Kettlebell stays in my left hand the entire time. Narrow, wide, come on. 10 seconds. What do you got? Show me, show me. And we switch sides. Balance row, other side in five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Challenge your grip. That's what this is. Thank goodness we get to switch hands. Come on. 40 seconds right here. Catch the breath. We go. Wide, narrow swings. Other side. Woo! You got this. Stay with me. You're strong. Yes, you are. Row, I will hide the sky. Think high to the sky, back towards the hip. High to the sky, back towards the hip. Use your breath. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Come on, finish. Five, four, three, two. Here we go. Weight stays right here. Narrow, wide, narrow, wide, narrow, wide. Woo! This is challenging me. This holding on to one kettlebell in that same hand. My grip, I feel it. It's fatiguing. What would it look like if I said five, four, three, two, one? Nice work. Awesome job, you guys. Crushed it, knocked it out, grabbed some water. Right, circuit two. Good stuff, you repeat it, right? We do it, repeat it. Why do we do that? One, you know what you're doing. Now can you do it better the second time? Two, you gotta work those muscles to fatigue. If I give you a workout with 40 exercises, it might be fun, but you're never really gonna fatigue a single muscle group. This way, whew, I'll tell you what, end of this workout, your glutes, your hammies, your power generating muscles, they are tired. Walk out, squat, upright row, walk out. You're there, I talk too much. In three, two, 
Let's go. Squat, row, set it down. Walk out. 20 seconds right here. 20 seconds. And then we go power for 40 seconds. That is two push ups, two burpees. Oh, yeah. We are going to feel that one. Two push ups, two burpees for 40 seconds. You're there in four, three, two. Move that bell out of the way. Let's go. Two push ups. Come on. Down, up, down. You choose your level. Two burpees. <sighs> this mama is still working on push up strength. So I'm doing them for my knees. You do your best, you forget the rest. This is meant to challenge your heart rate. Yes, you can. This is that hard stuff I was talking about. Two push ups, two burpees. Come on. Five, four, three, two. Get that last push up in. Ha! Whew. Balance row. Dumbbell left hand, kettlebell left hand. Row. 20 seconds. It's gonna go fast. How many reps can you get? Come on. Halfway, halfway. Up. Single arm swings. We're gonna do just a standard single arm swing in three, two, right here. Kettlebell stays, left hand. Just swing. Take out the wide and narrow. Master the swing. Master it. Master it. I'm gonna show you from the side so you can see how my hips go. Back, up, back, straight up, back. If you're like, oh, my grip is fatiguing, alternate the hands. That is a good option. Alternate the hands. You do you. Come on. 40 seconds. That is hard. 40 seconds is hard stuff, you guys. Come on. But you're not alone. I'm with you for five, four, three, two. Rowing other side. Right here we row. Come on. Row and swing and you get a break. Did I say yes, you can yet? Yes, you can. 10 seconds. Come on. Hup. Let's go. I will hide the sky back towards the hip. Hup. You got it. Come on. Finish. Four, three, two, one. Bell stays right here. Right hand. Swing. Right hand swings. Like I said, your grip is fatigued like mine. You alternate. You alternate. I'm using a 25 pound kettlebell. This is hard stuff for this mama. Okay? Tough stuff. All I ask is you do your best. You forget the rest. And you know that I'm here to motivate you and push you. I'm not you. You're not me. We each move at our own pace. We're in different seasons of life. If you're with me, you do your best. Come on. Let's go five, four, three, two, break. Woo! Circle out two. Crushed it. All right, grab your water. Circuit two is in the books. And you guys are on to circuit number three. This is our last full circuit, okay? So six moves, four, and the last two you repeat the same other side. You're gonna do it twice, two times through. And then the fourth circuit, it's core, it's three exercises, 30 seconds, really simple. Because kettlebell training, holy core, this entire workout. You don't need to do a lot at the end. I'm gonna show you your four moves. Grab that kettlebell. Curtsy, lunge, narrow, squat. Looks like this. Curtsy, narrow, switch hands. Curtsy, whew, find that balance. Narrow, switch hands. Okay, that's move number one. Move number two, curtsy around the world. Grab the horns of the kettlebell. Curtsy, up and around. Whoa, there's that core. Yeah, there it is. Bigger the circle, harder it is. You choose. Staggered deadlift, one of my faves. 80 in the right, 20 in the back toe. Hinge, pull, you're working on that front hammy. You are a pro, you take it to a balance. You do you, okay? And then tap back high pull. One of my favorite kettlebell moves, if you've done my workouts before, you know. Tap it, pull it, tap it, pull it. Those are your four moves. Repeat the last two on the other leg. Are you ready? 40 seconds of strength, 20 seconds of power. Curtsy, narrow squat. Grab your bells, friends. You're in that home stretch. Circuit number three starts in four, three, two. Let's do it. Curtsy, narrow squat, 40 seconds. Switch hands. Curtsy, narrow squat. Keep that chest up. Your range of motion on a narrow squat might not be as big of your range of motion on a standard squat. That's okay. You're gonna feel your tight hips, your tight hammies, you're gonna feel them right there in that narrow squat. Narrow squats are hard, Whew. right? But it's always good to mix it up. You do standard squats every day, your body's gonna catch on. Throw in a narrow squat, 
Woo, changes things up. It feels good. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, and we go around the world. Ooh, this around the world move. Man, it is hard. You got four, three, two, grab the horns of your bell. Curtsy, around the world, curtsy. Now this is power. I know we're not jumping, but those arms, they add something. Feel your heart rate? I feel mine. I'm talking and I can hardly talk to you. You should be breathing out of your mouth. You got five, four, three, two, staggered deadlift. Right here, staggered deadlift. Squeeze. Again, range of motion, different for everybody. Think, hip straight back, stand tall, squeeze. Hip straight back, stand tall, squeeze. 40 seconds, 40 seconds. Now this move is gonna make your kettlebell swings better, right? You gotta work those hammies, those glutes. This is where my hamstring meets my butt. You want a lifted butt, you do more deadlifts. Yeah, you with me? Come on, five, four, tap back, high pull in three, two, I'm back to you right here. Tap back, 20 seconds. Your goal, get the bottom of the bell to the TV, to the screen, to me, right there, bottom of the bell. Again, the power comes from my legs. My arm just moves it. Come on, it's five, four, three, two, one. Staggered deadlift, other side, I'll stay facing you. Other side, right here. Hips straight back, stand tall, squeeze. Come on, think flat, 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 flat back. Neck in line with the spine. Gaze slightly in front of you. Squeeze your butt. Someone once told me, make a fist with your butt cheek. Can you think about that? A fist with your butt cheek. Yes, you can. Come on, make that fist. Tap back, high pull. Your final move. Then you get a break. Ooh, you gotta earn it though. You're there in five, four, three, two, let's do it. Pull it, tap it, pull it. You might notice one side feels stronger than the other. That's normal. That's why we train both sides. Okay? Everybody has a more dominant side. Come on. Yes. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Set that bell down. Ha! Ah, grab some water, you guys. Last time. Circuit number three. Last time you're gonna do it. Come on. You got one more set in you? Mm hmm You do not turn off that TV. Not yet. You finish. You finish with me. Like I said, you were made to do tough stuff. This, the final circuits, the final five minutes, that's where, that's where the competitor in me comes out. I wanna see your competitor, all right? Curtsy lunge, narrow squat. You're on, in three, two, let's go. Curtsy, narrow, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, and then we go 40 seconds. Whew, on that power move, which is around the world curtsies. The tough stuff, curtsy, narrow, come on, 10 seconds. Curtsy, narrow, can you tap the bell to the ground? You got five, four, three, two, grab those horns around the world, curtsy, Hup. curtsy, Whew, there's that core, ha, there it is, 40 seconds, ha, you feel those legs? Yes, I do, Hup. come on, Hup. Halfway, halfway. Come on. Can you get that circle? Just a little bigger. Let me see that ugly face. This is where I say, I make my ugly faces when it gets hard. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, you got it. Finish. Three, two, one. Deadlift, deadlift. Come on. Right here. 20 seconds. Catch your breath. 40 seconds. Tap back, high pull. I wanna see it. I wanna see it. You're there. Whoo! Ha! You got five, four, three, two, let's do it. 40 seconds. Show me the bottom of the bell. This is where champions are made. Come on, push. Can you feel that front glute? It's gotta burn, you guys. It has got to burn. Yes, you can. We haven't even given Oh, holy bananas. Do you feel it? Holy, holy bananas. Come on. Ha. You got it. Ha. Deadlift. That's where you go. 
Stay with me. You got five, four, three, two, one. Dead this other side. Dead this other side. Woo. 20 seconds. Oh, I am tired. My heart rate is sky high right now. And I'm not jumping. This is low impact, heart raising, strength, and cardio. One more set. Tap back high pull. Do you got it? You got it in you? Five, four, three, two. You ready? Come on. Up. 40 seconds. Up. It's gonna hurt. Yes, you can. You can do anything. Yes. 30 seconds. Yes. Stay with it. That front glute. It burns. Halfway, halfway. You're so stinking strong. I'm talking to myself right now. You know that? I need this just as much as you. Last five, four, three, two, one. Set the bell down. Ho, ho, ho. You guys are awesome. Grab water. Grab water. Three, three core moves, 30 seconds each. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. First one standing, then we go to the ground. Grab your bell around the world. Join me when you're ready. Pass it around. Pass it around. Soft bend in the knees. Brace your core. Pass it. Come on, finish. Finish, finish. Keep that core tight. Pass it, pass it. You got it. Can you switch directions? Switch, switch. Halfway, halfway, switch it. Woo! Keep that bell. Tight to your body or make it harder. Go farther away. Farther is harder. Yes. Last five, four, three, two, one. Take it down to the ground, my friends. Take it down to the ground. Are you ready? Place that bell right on top of your hips. Your glutes, they're your core, baby. Whew. Okay, guys, there's that sun. It's gonna be right in the eye. Talk to you about it for a second because, man, I realize how much I take for granted. There's nothing like seeing the world through your kid's eyes. We're on our way to school this morning. I'm a little mad. My son pooped his pants. My daughter had a blowout. We get in the car. My son goes, Mommy, Mr. Sunshine is out today. I was like, oh, buddy, you are so awesome. Come on, you got five, four, three, two, one. Sit up. Good old core twist. That's where we finish. Feet on the ground or feet lifted. Tap. Tap, slower is harder. Tap, come on, tap. Yes, you can. This is it. All you got. Finish strong. Yes. You guys, I'm so proud of you today. Whether you're doing this at 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 4 p.m., 9 p.m., you are doing it, and that is all that matters. Come on, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, you're almost there. Give me four, three, two, and one. Yes, you did it. Take it down. Give me that long body stretch because it feels so good. Arms go long, legs go on. Take a big breath, you deserve it. Nice work, you guys. Pull your knees to your chest. Take a nice spinal roll side to side. If you're feeling your low back after this workout, I probably will. I'm gonna be honest, go ahead and find happy baby because I'm five months, almost five months postpartum. My core is not what it used to be. That means I'm leaning into other muscles, like my back, that I probably shouldn't be, right? So, if your low back hurts after this one, keep that right leg in, send the left leg long. That means you need to go down in weight, perfect your form, and then move up back in weight, okay? Our core is so important. Actually, go ahead, send the toes long, climb up, point the toe, flex the foot. That's why we're making these short 10 minute videos. We have a 10 minute button abs video. If you're feeling your back after this, go check that out, okay? Pull it in, across the knee, thread the needle, find that figure four stretch, okay? It's always good to strength train in a variety of ways, okay? You gotta really strengthen that core. Now let's talk about these cool shoes that are on my feet. Switch it out, other knee in, other leg long. Pull it slightly out towards your armpit, open up those hips, that feels good, right? And then send it long. So, these 880 shoes, point the toe, flex the foot, if you follow me on social, you know I like a combination of treadmill, running, stroller runs, and then I like my studio. I teach group fitness. Thread the needle, cross the knee, okay? 
I love a shoe that allows me to do both without having to change. I don't wanna buy a bunch of shoes. I find a pair of shoes I like, I use them, okay? It's hard enough to even remember to bring shoes to the gym for me. <laughs> okay, cross your ankles, roll it up to a seated position. Face me, we're gonna sit cross-legged like this and you're gonna take one leg up and over and you're gonna slightly hug it in because you're gonna feel that outer glute, okay? So, I love having one pair of shoes. These allow me comfort, flexibility. They're the New Balance 880 shoes. I'm gonna talk more about them in the blog post associated with this video. I got mine at Schuler Shoes. If you live in Minnesota, friends, switch it out other side. You gotta check out one of your nine, they're, they're growing, 10, 11, Schuler Shoes locations. Okay, they have foot specialists who will fit you for shoes. I'm normally a seven and a half, so I was like, no, give me the seven and a half. He was like, trust me, you want eights? So glad I did, okay? Get fitted, get shoes that work for you. Your feet are stinking important. You won't realize it until you get injured. And then you're like, dang it, should have cared about my feet, right? So, check out Chuler Shoes, check out these New Balance 880s. I'm gonna post more about them below. Thanks for doing this 30 minute workout. You want something else, hit up our yoga flow, hit up anything else on the blog. We got a 10 minute core workout that's great to finish this off with too. Thanks you guys, more workouts at nourishmovelove.com.